For new students, it is very important to understand the dates of an academic session and where to find this information on the York website. In this presentation, we will introduce you to the following, sessional dates, add and drop deadlines, and refund dates. On the York website, select the Current Students button at the top of the page. Before you do anything else, bookmark this page. This site is a key gateway and resource to York student information and what we'll be doing here today. Under the Courses and Enrollment heading, select Important Dates. Below the Undergraduate Sessional Dates heading, select the academic session you're entering. We'll choose Fall-Winter 2013-14. Once you have selected the appropriate session, a table will appear with all the important dates for that academic period. Here, you will find important information about course start and end dates and examination periods. Scroll throughout the page and you'll notice there are several tables with different information, such as add drop deadlines, financial deadlines, and scheduled university closures. You are strongly advised to pay close attention to all deadlines, especially those for adding and or dropping courses, because they have financial implications. Now that we have discussed sessional dates, let's move on to York's financial timelines. The refund table contains important financial timelines should you decide to drop or change a course after the start of classes. The refund table for the fall-winter session will be available mid-summer. On the York website, Select the Current Students button at the top of the page. Under the Money Matters heading, select Fees. Now, select Refunds in the left-hand side column. Next, click on Refund Tables. Using the Undergraduate pull-down menu, select Health. This table will inform you about the cost associated with making changes to your timetable after the start of classes. For example, the deadlines are different based on the term of the course. For the example on the screen, in the fall term, which runs from September to December, you will not receive a refund if you drop a course after October 2nd. Remember, these important tables are distinct and use different dates. The add and drop deadline table deals with academic deadlines and the refund table deals with financial deadlines. You should now understand the differences between sessional and financial dates. Before moving on, please complete the quiz associated with this presentation.